with ArcGIS servers installed, it only listens to port 6080 and 6443 for connections. That's because ArcGIS server has its own web server. If you would like to use your own web server, uh, typically you'll be using IIS on a Windows environment. So therefore people would connect through port 80, so they wouldn't have to do the colon 6080 or colon 6443 to get to ArcGIS server's services. What I'm gonna do here is install the provided web adapter that comes with ArcGIS server itself. Now it is specific to IIS in this case. Up till now, ArcGIS server has been running by itself and you can only access it on port 6080 and 6443. So by double clicking on this, it will actually go through and install things. I've already installed IIS on the computer, but there are a whole bunch of specific items that were not installed with IIS. There's many components to IIS and this does have certain requirements. The nice thing is the installer actually helps me install the items that are missing automatically. And you can see if I click I agree, I agree, it automatically installs the missing components. So I'm gonna do that first and allow it install those components. I'll be right back once it's completed. Once it installs the missing components, it comes up with the ArcGIS 10.4 web adapter install. So now it's actually gonna go through and install just the web adapter software. So again, this isn't required software to make ArcGIS server work. It's just to be able to pass through port 80. Now it's also important to note that I do have ArcGIS server installed on the local server here, and I'm also installing the web adapter on that same computer. You do not necessarily need to have them both on the same computer. You could have ArcGIS server on its own computer and then a web adapter on a second computer somewhere else. The two computers do need to be able to see each other, the web server and the ArcGIS server, but they don't need to be the same computer themselves. This way you can secure your ArcGIS server even better because then only public traffic from the web would have to pass through the web adapter and the users would never be able to see port 6080 and 6443 from out in the public side. They'd only be able to see it on your internal network. But that's a little bit more complex in this video. So for now, we're just installing it on the local computer and it's on the same one. Click next, accept the license agreement. Um, it goes and installs. There is something called a cross-domain policy file, which really does apply to uh, Silverlight and Flex applications, which for the most part, people are not using now. So I am not gonna go through those and I'm gonna leave them not installed. Next, it does have a web adapter name, and this is how things will be uh, used to access this. So HTTP colon slash slash the computer name slash ArcGIS slash rest. That ArcGIS portion I can configure to be whatever name I have here. So I could make this Maps, I could make this uh, Esri, whatever I'd like that ArcGIS would re be replaced in the URL with that. So it is a way to be able to change things up, but I'm gonna leave it as the default. And then it goes through and actually does the installation, which will only take a couple of seconds to complete. It automatically configures the IIS environment as well. In this case, it's creating something called a virtual directory in IIS for the directory that we just specified, which was ArcGIS. So you could never install an app into that directory because it's already being used. So on this server, if I ever access the directory ArcGIS, it'll automatically redirect into the Esri environment. Now, you can see here, it's automatically opened localhost ArcGIS web adapter. So what this is doing is basically loading a website that allows me to go and configure the web adapter for use against this server. There's two options. There's Arc for ArcGIS for server and then portal for ArcGIS. So we're gonna configure this to be ArcGIS for server. I can uh, specify the GIS server URL, and this is the URL from this computer to the GIS server. So it does not need to be a full public URL. And even so you can use a very basic localhost URL, because when you hit the web adapter, this is what's going to get called. I don't want to go outside onto the web and come back inside by specifying a public domain name. I want to use an internal name only. So in this case, I'm going to use just localhost. And because we're accessing it over 6443, I'm going to use HTTPS. 
And you'll notice it doesn't even require the other components. I need to su uh, supply the username and password for ArcGIS Server. So this is the site admin account uh, uh, which was created in the install of ArcGIS Server. Last is I can enable administrative access through the web adapter or I can leave this cleared. And what that means is you have to access 6443 to do administration of the server, that port, so I can restrict who can administer this server. I'm going to leave that cleared, hit configure, and now you can see it's set. So what this means now is I can go localhost slash ArcGIS slash REST slash services, and it will actually open up this computer directly. I can also add the 6080 which before the only way to access this was adding the 6080. Now I can pass through the web adapter and get at the same data. And that's it. It's nice, simple to install the web adapter.